What is going on everybody? Ray J Gamer back with another one. Today we're going to be doing the One Night Stand Simulator. Uh, I heard a few good things about it, so I thought we'd give it a shot today. So let's just jump right into this thing. There's no need for a real detailed intro, because we probably shouldn't be doing too much, but I do think it's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so he's saying, uh, my head, my stomach, I feel like crap okay sound like somebody has a hangover last night what happened drink lots of drink happened well that's obvious I ain't mean, listen to you what's that noise sounds like a phone yep indeed it does sounds like a phone and it is <laughs> my phone where is my phone I don't know what the fuck that is. Got it. Mate, what the hell happened to you last night? Are we Austrian? I mean, that is, nothing's wrong with that. I'm just curious. I have no idea, but thanks a lot for waking me up. Low battery. Crap, my phone is about to die. Better plug it in before the battery runs out. Okay. So far, I don't think we can figure out that he has an iPhone. <laughs> Let's keep going. Nope, can't plug my phone into that. Or that. And I just hit my head on something, and I still can't find my damn charger. Okay. That works. Wait a minute. I don't recognize that table. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. This isn't my room. <laughs> okay. My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am I... Are you what? I'm completely naked. Okay, indeed. Uh... Oh! There we go. Hey, he said it too. Oh! <laughs> Typical response. Okay. I guess I got lucky last night. We'll see that way. This must be her room. Why the fuck is she shaking like that? What the, I mean, what's up with that? I hope this is her room. But, who is she? Well, that's a good question. Mate, you totally bailed on everyone last night. You went to get a round of drinks and never came back. What the fuck? All the girls were so pissed off. I can't believe I ditched my date so you could just bail on us all. Shit, sounds like drunk me was up to no good last night. Hate to let my mates down, but I guess my mind must have been elsewhere. We definitely sound Austrian. Sorry, I honestly don't know what happened to me last night, but I guess, but guess what I pulled? That should shut him up. So, could she be one of the girls from last night Gary was talking about? I don't think she was. Even if she was, I don't know anything about her. I don't even know her name. Shit. I don't know anything that happened last night. Where am I right now? This hangover isn't helping. Mm -hmm. Come on, Gary. I don't have time to keep talking to you. <laughs> Bullshit. One drink and you're all bedding women. You're going to need a better excuse for ditching all your mates than that. Gary does believe me. He sounds pretty pissed off. If Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture that would shut him up. What should I do? Take a photo, don't take a photo. Nah, I mean, I don't have to take a fucking picture to prove some shit, yeah. No, nah, I'm not gonna stoop like that. Oh shit, my phone's dead anyway. See, phone was dead anyway, so it don't even matter. <laughs> what should I do now? We can wake her up, go back to sleep, or leave. I don't think I can go back to sleep in a situation like that, so we'll try to wake her up. I need answers and I need them now. Wake that ass up. Wake up, goddammit. Ah, oh, what the? What the fuck is that? Is she running? <laughs> okay, what the fuck is she running? Where did she go, first of all? She's gone? Where? I don't know. She's weird. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all of this. Well, how the fuck she think I feel about it? I know I am. 
Still, I didn't really get a good look at her. Maybe she wants me to leave? We could very well leave. Oh, we could look around. What do we, what's this? Ah, condom wrapper. Thank God we took some precaution last night. Well, there's one mystery wrapped up. <laughs> got a little humor going on. I guess you got to in a situation like that. What it is? It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and game, gaming mags in here. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have time to read them. All right, so she sounds like a pretty interesting girl so far. Music and gaming? Sounds like she's winning right now. Jesus, her room is just fucking... Who is this? This is a photo. It looks pretty old. That girl's with some guy. Maybe he's a friend or a relative. Hmm. Could be. Oh, hey. That is so awkward to come in and say... You wake up to a person you don't even know laying next to you and the first thing you say is, oh, hey. And the silence. The silence. The crickets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry for dashing out like that. Why the fuck are you still shaking? I'm finna call the police, huh? No. I wish my phone wasn't dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for dashing out like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. Um, you kind of did. You run out. You're shaking. Are you having a fucking seizure or something? It's okay. It's not okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the covers. The fuck? It's not okay. Sorry, as soon as I woke up, I just really needed to dance to the bathroom. I'd rather not go into it if that's okay with you. Um, guess it's fine. It's kind of strange, but fine. Whatever. So have you been awake long? Not really. My phone woke me up. Ah, I wonder what that noise was. It woke me up too. See, that's another good reason we didn't take that picture. If she woke up when my phone went off, that means that she would have heard us snap that picture. So... There you have it. Ah, sorry. Well, unless our phone was on vibrate or something. Oh, don't worry about it. By the way, that's a nice photo. Oh, you mean the one by the mirror? Oh, yeah, I mean the one by the mirror. That's a photo of me and my dad. All right. I was about 17 when that was taken. I don't think he'd be too proud of me if he knew I had met up with a stranger last night. So, we know one thing about her. She's definitely older than 17, so. I think we're on the right path. Good thing I don't live with my parents anymore. Okay, so she's probably at least 18 and above. We can declare that right now. This is a little awkward. I should ask something. Could ask about the time hangover. I'm not worried about what time it is. Do you have a hangover? Yeah, just a little one. I mostly just feel nauseous. What the fuck is going on with her? Let's keep going and see if we can find out. What about you? You don't look too great. Uh, I feel awful. I feel sick. Um, We'll go with I'm alright. I'm alright. Thanks. Are you sure? Can I get you something? Coffee, painkillers, nothing. I would say coffee, but I don't... Hmm, I don't want to put anything in my coffee. Let's go with coffee. A cup of coffee will help me shake off this hangover. Nice, I'll go put the kettle on and see if we have some instant coffee in. Okay. Okay, that went well. No, that went awkward, it went. She seems cool. But I don't know her name yet. Let's see if we can find out her name. Um. I don't know what I can really use to find. Boom, there you have it. Wallet. I really should have been looking through this, but then again, this might contain some useful information. Driver license, ID, something with her DOB. So let's investigate a little bit. Looks like an ID card. Her name is Robin. And she's 22. Okay. That works. 
kind of figured she'd be around that age. It's a funny looking ID card though. I wonder if it's legit. So 22 years old is about, that's about what I expected. So That's cool. What else we got? What is this, a diary? Oh, it's a romance novel. Eyes of Embrace. It sounds intriguing, I guess. Maybe I should give this a read. Or maybe I shouldn't give it a read. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I had a message. Hey, how are you holding up? How am I holding up? I have no idea. Um, yeah. Fine. This guy's such a smart ass, it sounds like. Well, I hope this helps. Things, it smells so good. Well, it's not Starbucks, but hopefully it'll help shift that hangover. So she brought us the coffee, we're drinking it, and we still got this awkward silence. Well, it's not too silent, but it's kind of, you can feel the tension in the air right now. I should really asked her about last night, she must know something. So that was quite the night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. Just alright. By the way, thanks. Hmm? Last night I was feeling pretty down. I'd always brush off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. So I wonder what dating app she used. Did she use Tinder? How did not? Is that not even a dating app or is it just a rating app? I'm not sure. I haven't used it. Then having a the guy bail on me in the middle of the day. So she met up with a guy off a dating app in a bar and <laughs> he ditched her in the bar. We came, saved the day, got too drunk, had sex with her, and don't remember anything that happened. We don't even remember having sex with her. So what's the purpose of having sex if you can't remember it? Alright. I'm really glad you showed up. You bought me a drink, you listened to me, and it cheered me up. I guess the night turned around thanks to you. So she got stood up last night, and I stepped in. Maybe this explains why I accidentally abandoned my friends. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Alright, yeah, don't worry about it. Although, I think I ended up abandoning my friends by accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, look how she's looking like I could care less about your friends right now. I didn't even realize you were there with friends. You didn't mention anything about them at all. Really? I was in a bar with Gary and a couple of other people, I think. Oh. So she's going silent again. I wonder why. You think? Seems like you don't remember much about what happened. What should I say? I remember parts. I do remember. So let's just do what I do remember. We don't want her to know, like, nah, we don't remember shit. We just fucked you and I'm ready to go. Nah. We'll go with we remember what happened. Okay, no need for me to clue you in then. Although we really should call that cab driver and apologize for throwing up all over his back seat. Ha, I'm just kidding. Oh, so she got fucking jokes, huh? <laughs> she got fucking jokes. I'm here with a hangover. I got shit faced last night. I don't know where I am, who she is. I don't even know how the fuck I got here. And she want to smile and make jokes. Okay. Listen, about last night. Yeah. Going out, meeting a total stranger. Okay, keep going. And bringing them here, home. Oh, she is so dramatic. This isn't something I normally do. Oh, bullshit. In fact, I never done this before. Robin's never had a one night stand before. Have you ever done anything like this? Uh, let's just go with no. No, I've not. <laughs> That's reassuring. I bet it is, Robin. I bet it is. 
it makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about the whole thing. Okay, you gonna say something? No? I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. Or I don't either, but it's just awkward still. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or while I was out the room. I don't know. You don't know what? Clearly, you were nice to me last night. But part of me thought you wanted to leave as soon as you woke up. Well, you're still here. Okay, Robin, we've established the fact that I'm still here. What, what are you getting at? What's your point here? I mean, that in a good way, of course. She's happy that I'm still here. I guess I managed to make a good impression, all things considered. Listen, we didn't really get to know each other all that well last night. Seems like I got no pause here you that most people, well, I would hope most people didn't get to know. They probably did. Hell, I don't fucking know. I ran in about my date and life troubles. I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Huh? Tell me something about you. Um, I know this might sound strange, but if we get to know each other a little better, then maybe this could be different. I mean, yeah, I'm down with that. This this guy, whoever this dick is, he's been a real jackass about it. He's been a smart ass. He's a different? Like, maybe this doesn't have to be as weird as two strangers sticking up. I don't know. Sure, I guess. But what should I tell Robin about myself? Should I talk about... Um, let's go with my personality. Well, I guess I should start with... Ugh. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry, wait here. I'll be right back. She's gone. That was strange. She turned pale as ghost as soon as I opened my mouth. I wonder if I could find out anything more about her. Robin's being weird. I don't understand what the fuck her problem is. She's being a fucking weirdo. What's this? I hear my jeans. There's a few odd stains on here. I reckon they're good for another day or two. I really need to find my boxes before I put them on, though. The fuck you mean odd uh, stains? Like what? Those are her clothes. Even if I wanted to wear them, I doubt they fit. <laughs> we don't want to wear her clothes. I can promise you that. Let's see what else we got. How did my shirt end all the way up over here? It stinks of sweat, smoke, and you know what? I'd rather not find out. Anyway, it's all I got, so I have no choice how I put it on. Hey, are you okay? Not really. Sorry, I just felt really sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night or too much to drink. We continue the conversation. Offer to leave. Offer to help. Let's see if we can help her out. I mean, can we do anything? Can I get you something? Thanks, but I think I just need to get some rest. I hate to be rude, but I like to be alone now. Are you sure? Yeah, please don't take it the wrong way. You've been a real gent. Even this morning, you could have easily just left. There she goes again with that, why didn't you just leave? Why didn't you just leave? Sorry to cut this so short. I just need to get some rest. Okay, whatever. I'll quickly gather the remainder of my belongings. I don't know where my boxes are. She's probably keeping them. Okay, I got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road from here, so you should be able to get home from there. Thanks, Robin. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You've been really nice this whole time. I'm grateful for that. I want to see you again. Let's be friends. No problem. Uh, shit. Let's, let's, let's hit it with that. Let's be friends. Can we be friends? Oh, she hit me with the three dots. Silent speak volumes. Yeah, I think so. All right, so that works. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean friends with benefits or anything like that. Well, I do. <laughs> but you made me feel better in a moment of need. I made it. I had to watch my language. I almost said something. And I'm grateful for that. So, yeah. Let's be friends. All right, so we managed to make a new friend. Name's Robin. 
We get our belongings, exchange information with her. She sees you at the front door. She, she, damn it, I can't talk. She sees you to the front door and gives you a hug. Despite the hangover, you enjoy getting to know her a little more. And that is loud. Why is that so fucking loud? Despite the hangover, you enjoy getting to know her. You walk out on the street that Robin suggested. Okay. When you get home, you charge your phone to discover a message from Robin. Thanks. So this seems pretty, uh, I wonder how else that could have played out. So that question at the end shows me that there's still something there that we could have did. We won't get to it in this episode. We would definitely come back in another episode. We've been playing for 20 minutes already. Sorry if that bored you, but I was very interested in this game. And I thought if I'm going to play it, I might as well play it with you all. That way I could really enjoy it. Um, if you would like to see another one of these, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. It lets me know that you're liking what you see. Um, leave a comment, good or bad. Comments are all welcome. If you think I need to brush up on something, you tell me in the comment box. I appreciate you for watching. You have a good week. And this is Ray J Gamer, and I'm out.